Welcome to Konoi Crossover, Filipinos talking basketball, your boy PJ here. And beside me, we got the two Marks. We got Sweetie, Mark Sweetie right there, shout out to you. And we got Marco with the scarf. Thank you, Mark, for being our guest Thank for you today. For back, yeah. So let's just dive into it. You know, March Madness is still occurring. We still don't know who's going to be the winner. But I think the biggest topic, because there was that upset, Duke is out of the playoffs. Zion Williamson. So let's just talk about Zion. Mark, what do you what questions do you have about Zion? Well, like it's more so what's next for him. Like, what is does this game transfer to the NBA? What are your thoughts about it? Well, and obviously he's like, for me, he's one of the probably top five most athletic players like in the past like twenty ish years. So like, I think his game, his athleticism will translate well and help him succeed early in the NBA, but. Honestly, for me, I haven't watched that much Duke, but from what I've seen, I need to... He still has to, like, as a lot of other players do coming into the league, they got to improve their shooting, they got to show some other skills that athleticism just can't... He can't do it all with just athleticism. He's got to do a little bit more. And I think he's one of the biggest prospects, and he has the most hype around him because, first of all, his mixtapes are crazy. He's, an, uh, he's a freak, in a yeah. sense. He's 300 pounds, and he has athleticism. And... Like you said, he still has to prove his game, whether he can shoot. And he, do, and he has proven that he can sort, sort of shoot. He was shooting 50% at least from the last couple of games. And he was there and he was making plays and making shots when they won that, the championship on their end. But it's also a question mark. And he is, and there's that big thing where Nike's going to offer him oh, $100 million to shoot. Like, there's, he just has so much hype around him. Now, you said you didn't watch a lot of Duke, but let's talk about the other players. Or uh, have you been following any other players in the college basketball scene? Yeah, mostly just the Canadians. Mm -hmm. Like the couple guys from uh, Iowa State and who else is there? Uh, the guys from West Virginia. And, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But with um, this coming draft, if so, if you look at it, would you take a guy of a potential of Zion and in terms of what he could be in the NBA, would you take a guy that's more kind of finesse in their game, like R.J. Bear or, J or um, Morant? Like, what are your thoughts about that? Like, would you go for the hype because it's going to sell tickets, or would you go for players that's already kind of has that finesse or a little bit more polished game? Well, for me, like, all, all like, the NBA makes money like either way, so I'm I'm not that worried about selling tickets. I'm worried about winning games, mm -hmm. and it also depends on my team's needs. So like, if you look at the the teams that are likely to get a high pick right now, like the Knicks, Bulls, Phoenix, you gotta all those teams have different needs. So like, I wouldn't if if I had the first pick, if I if I needed like an all-around player, I'll go with RJ. Mm -hmm. But like, if I'm like the Suns and I already have scores and wing players like Devin Booker and all those other guys they have. I'd probably get a guy like uh, Ja Morant and just a guy who could facilitate for them. Mm -hmm. But if I was the Knicks, you know, everybody's saying Knicks and Zion, then yeah, then I'd get Zion. Just something about his game, like it's, it's kind of raw, but it's, he's powerful. Like you, you, kinda, you can kind of see a little bit of LeBron in him in terms of the speed and athleticism, but you can kind of see Charles Barkley in him in terms of the size of his body and his build. And he's a much better defender than Charles Buckley ever was in terms of the way he runs the floor, the way he kind of gets into the passing lane, the way he blocks shots. So he has kind of a mix of combination of players that you kind of haven't seen really before. And if he develops that consistent jump shot, because right now with college basketball, it's a little bit closer, so he can kind of shoot that. But in the NBA, it's a lot further than, you know, that they're going to be. And, and teams in the NBA, players are a little bit bigger. The size is going to be a bit there. So... He's gonna have to find ways to score, but then he has that kind of control in his body, like body control, and the way he finishes around the rim. He doesn't need to actually dunk. He just needs to kind of be around the rim. I kind of see a little bit of that when Marvin Bagley came in this year. He's kind of sm he's you know he's kind of slinky, but he's tall, but he can kind of t control his body around. He's also left-handed, so if he can finish around you know the rim in different ways, not just a dunk, I think he could kind of have a good season. But then. If he has a season like LeBron did, like that's when comparison is going to start happening because this season, Luke is literally putting up numbers the same as what LeBron was doing in his rookie season, and we're all going so crazy about mm -hmm. it, even though Trey Young is actually having a much crazy, like, better has second half of the season for rookie of the year. So I think Zion Williams could be that player that can turn a franchise around in terms of uh, just fan coming in and getting hyped, even if, even if they're not winning, mm -hmm. right? Now it comes, mm -hmm. it comes full circle to that mm -hmm. question, because would you rather... If you had Zion, would you trade that pick for someone more, you know, established like Anthony Davis, or would you want to go for potential over 
you know, someone like a caliber of Anthony Davis, what would you think? Well, again, it goes back to team needs and what my current need is. So, like, if I know that my team won't be competitive, won't be able to compete for an NBA championship, like right now, then I go for Zion or other, one of the other young guys just so I have something to build around. But if I'm someone who's in the hunt, then and if I could get a star like Anthony Davis, who's like arguably top five in the league, I got to go for that. Mm -hmm. It depends really. If the Suns get the first pick, take Zion and build around him, Devin Booker, and DeAndre Ian, and a bunch of other young guys. But if you're like next, who has the potential to sign a player like Kevin Durant, Kyrie, Jimmy, or Kemba, you gotta, you know, you gotta take in what it is that these guys are gonna be at their prime once they land in New York, and you gotta go win, win now, right? Even if, even if you're gonna get a player like Zion, it's 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 really on the edge in terms of what. But Davis is proven, right? Mm -hmm. Zion, you don't know what you're gonna get from him, and if you have players like if they do land Kyrie or Kevin. These players need to, you know, are proven already veterans and they were at the prime, so you can't waste their prime. So if Knicks do get Durant and Kyrie or a player like Jimmy or possibly like Kemba Walker, you got to add Davis in that mix so that they could be a contender and a win now players. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I guess with March Madness coming to an end, who's your pick for March Madness to, to win? Well, my bracket's been busted <laughs> ever since, but I had UNC winning it, but honestly now, with the Final Four, I think I'm going to go with Michigan State just because them beating Duke, that, like, that gave them a lot of juice and then they're feeling themselves and they could just go all the way. They're mm. a good team. I mean, yeah. they, they scrapped and like that win was a scrap. Like they battled for that and like they barely had it on. And, and the thing is that Duke was a favorite to win. I mean, if you upset a team like Duke and they played kind of, you know, their best basketball during that time, mm. Michigan could take it all the way. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. And it, it, like you mentioned, it does it gives them confidence, and that's what you need when you come when it comes down to the last couple of games. 